Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Total War Attila. Now it's been a while so I apologise for that. Um, but we should be getting back into this series now. Um, so as we left off we were moving down central Italy. We'd just taken out some rebels up in the north where our two other hordes are. And we'd sent our main faction leader round the side to attack the Vandals at their last remaining settlement which is Neapolis. They have a full-fledged army here, however the army is embarked at sea. So they should be coming into the um, to the ports and the beaches, which is why I think we're going to go ahead and make this assault. Now I don't think we're going to be able to win this battle, but what we're going to try and do is whistle down their forces, damage them, hit them as hard as we can, so that our hordes in the north can come down and then aid us in finishing off this settlement. And then once we capture this settlement, we should be able to subjugate the, uh, the Vandals once and for all, giving us a little bit of a hand when approaching the south and taking Tarententum. Tarentum, Jesus. Um, so that's our plan. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, make this assault. Now I know we're heavily outnumbered, not just in uh, troop types, but also because our forces consist mainly of cavalry and their main bulk is spearmen. However, like I said, they're going to be disembarking from the sea, which means they're also going to have sea sickness. Um, don't think that has much of a penalty really but what it does mean is that there aren't going to be many men in the actual settlement itself so what we could also do with our horse archers and our archers is start to burn the settlement and deal a huge morale penalty against the enemy so what we, we're going to try and do that the McCree, which we're probably going to lose a lot of we're going to lose a few units here but we're going to use our cavalry as much as we can to just wipe out units We'll try and put some of our infantry in decent-ish positions where we can cut them off. Now I think we can safely assume they'll probably dock a few in the centre of the city, but the rest will go to the Long Beach, where they can get most of their ships. Um, so yeah, we're happy with dry, we'll start our deployment. And what we'll probably do is we'll send three of our horse archers, one cavalry and one spearman unit over to the left side. Now we're not intending on any enemies being here. But hopefully by putting some units here, we're going to kind of coerce them to the other side. Um, so we're not going to give them just an open ground to come and go here so they can run straight into the city. We're going to put some men there to make sure they know that area isn't necessarily safe. Um, but the bulk of our force is going to be this side because I truly believe this will be the side that they disembark their forces. Um, so we'll get some spearmen in position. We'll, our lancers are our best men. So what we don't want to happen is if their ships do disembark here along this line, we don't want to lose our lancers. They are our hardest hitting men, they are our strongest cavalry, so we want them to kind of come in through the side as much as possible and come through the enemy up the beach rather than go straight in the centre and get caught in. That's the job for our spearmen. And then our cavalry should just try and hit as many of them as they can in the rear. So we want to try and use our archers as much as possible. We're going to try and burn this settlement as best we can. I'm going to leave my horse archers where they are for the moment and uh, see what we can do. Make sure everyone is using flame and shot. Probably safe for them to be on skirmish mode, especially the uh, horse archers for the moment. Just in case the enemy does have any cavalry in the city or anything like that. So let's go ahead and let's start this battle. Uh, yep, all the ships are on the other side, so hopefully that's where they stay. Now, yep, let's start to move our cavalry into a position where they can begin firing on the city. And then we'll keep tabs on the enemy, make sure we know what they're doing. Now, although they do have a lot of spearmen, I think these are levy spearmen, so they're not necessarily the strongest troops. Very poor hull strength, very poor fire resistance. The enemy has been sighted! Bows. They are getting shot by the tower. The enemy should know when the odds are hopeless. Send those guys forward. If those spearmen get a little bit too close, we should be able to take them down. Got some lancers. Nope. Mounted brigands. There could be a threat. So we'll keep an eye on them. Now we want to start burning that down as quick as we can. Got a few civilians causing a bit of havoc there. Shouldn't be much of a threat. The quicker we burn the city, the quicker we can apply that morale but, um, deficit. A few units coming in at the side there, but they're very small, so we've got 60, 60, and 25. So if they dock there, our lancers should be able to wipe them out. 
nice and easy. Archers are firing on the city. They have already set it alight, so they've done a fantastic job there. I'm not sure if they've lost any men yet. It doesn't seem like they have. They've fallen back just a little bit. So that is now on fire. I want to set this one on fire if we can. So is it any that are red are more likely to go up in flames? Possibly. Firing I'm going to test that theory. I think it is anything that's red is more likely to go off in flames. So we're going to test that quickly. And then we're going to get our archers here to try and move around to the next section. If we can set that building on fire, we should be able to burn the tower down. So let's try and get as close as we can to it without triggering it. If we can. We might start losing a few. That looks better, doesn't it not? That looks like we're hitting it. A lot better. Come on, boys. There we go. That's looking better. There we go. It's on fire. Lovely stuff. Let's move you, boys. Which side was that? That was that side. Okay, so now we want to burn this side. Send you on that building. So that side's now going to start burning. That side is really burning. We've got some ships coming in, but I'm not sure if they're landing. That one does look like it is landing. So let's get some cavalry ready. Actually, I want to hit that side. They've got a lot more smaller units, a lot weaker men down there. Yep, in fact, let's get all of our cavalry. We might be able to take this whole beach down. We're quick enough. A lot of small units. Go, go, go. You go after them. You go after them. Smash them. Everick, that might be the, uh, the naval commander. So we've just captured two of their units there in the fray a little bit. We're going to move our spearmen down because we might be able to draw in some enemies to them and we can hopefully form some shield walls. And of course we've still got our horse archers as well. So let's see. We're losing a few cavalry. We've taken them down and we're cutting through their archers here as well. So I think we may have taken them lot down pretty quickly. Let's make sure we kill them off completely. We don't want these units returning at all. We want to wipe them out. On that shield wall, boys, or is it too late? It may be too late. My fault, I'm sorry. Excellent armor, so perhaps we should be using heavy shot. And we are hitting our own men. Let's try the heavy shot. Don't want to send in the general. Killed off those units. Let's pull these guys back. Let's send them into the slingers. And then we might be able to catch the um, spearmen here from two angles. Hopefully, breaking them nice and easy. Let's get you guys around here. We're probably hitting more of our own men than the enemy. But they're only um, hunting spears or step spears. Not that great. Send you into charge against those boys. That's perfect. Rapid advance. Good throws. Let's send you boys in as well. Let's keep our lancers to the rear. If anyone else disembarks, we should be able to take it down then. Right, both of you. Stop firing. You engage melee. Chase them down. Right, they've broken. We may have lost a few cavalry there, taking them down, but it does seem that we've broken them. So, as I'm guessing, we're most likely going to retreat from this battle. We don't want to. We want to take down as many of them as humanly possible. We start marching them forward. They have re-engaged, but they should be taken down. Shouldn't be much of a threat. There's five of them left. That should be enough. Let's bring those boys back. And then we caught those spearmen, so we want to destroy that unit for sure. A lot of them still haven't disembarked, so this is looking good so far. City is raging a fire. It's at 27, so they've got minus 5 on attack, defence and morale. And we've still got a lot to burn. This is looking very good, and we've just started firing on that city there. So hopefully we can get that up in flames, hopefully burn that tower down as well. Which, if we can get these two towers here, 
could give us a chance to actually take this settlement without having to retreat, but only if we take down these towers. It's still burning heavily, let's just hope the fire spreads. It's looking good though. No more ships. The enemy's tower Disembark. Has been the enemy's One of them's gone. And badly damaged. That one's gone. Excellent. There we go. Minus six on all effects. Understood. It's smoking. It's going to go up any second now. Excellent stuff. And then we'll pull those guys out of there. Not sure if we're burning this part. Doesn't look like we are. So we might have to come back in to do that. Might as well. I want to get as much of it as we can. Looks like they might be dropping off some more men in a second. And the right side is looking the weakest yet again. So I think most of the spearmen are in the centre and to the left. We've also got some pikemen, so we want to keep well away from them. But there we go, that's in flames, so let's pull the archers back. Didn't actually lose any of them, which is very unlikely. So there we go, we're firing on that building now. Hopefully it won't be long. Do seem to mostly be missing. Units used up most of his ammo as well. But it's going well. So they're dropping off a few men in the centre. Shouldn't be a problem, really. Let's get these guys into shield screens. And it looks like we've burnt that building too. So let's pull these guys back. We have lost a few there to the uh, archer towers. But it shouldn't be much of a problem. If uh, that tower does burn down, which is looking like it's not going to, unfortunately... But we should still be able to get those buildings in there. So let's bring these guys round. We can hopefully set fire to this section. Although it is already burning, so hopefully it shouldn't be necessary. Let's pray that tower goes up in flames. Looks like the fire may have stopped spreading there then. A few ships coming in, so let's just speed up a little bit and see if they're actually coming in. Potentially are. Yes, some of them are. Okay, they've got their archers firing on our men. We seem to be taking it fairly well. So we got their general. So I reckon at this um, this amount of morale damage, if we kill their general, we should have a good chance of finishing this fight. But we need to split him away from his men. That just won't happen. You guys go ahead and fire. You guys go ahead and fire. That's a lot of men. We want to pull these guys back. We want to send you guys after those slingers and archers. As many as we can without taking on these very strong units here. Alright, that is unfortunate. Broken and are fleeing. Let's keep our general well away from combat. You can't charge them. Stay away from those spearmen, though. We are the Huns. Ah! Let's try and take down some of these units Lord if we can. We, the yeah, I didn't think it'd be long until they broke. This is a shameful display. Send them after those slingers there. Try and just kill as many as we can. Might not be worth going after those spearmen actually if they're going to join in the fight. Could be dangerous. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Okay, let's go and help our lancers out because they seem to be breaking a little bit there. Possibly due to the archers that we didn't take down. Let's carry on finishing them out. Hit them in the flank could be good. Might be too late. Still take down that general though. It's not too late for that. Right, let's get some more horse archers down this end. We've still got some archers too. Get our general way back. You kill as many of them as you can. You guys come in and hit them in the flank. Same for you. We can break them before losing that unit. We can definitely do that. Those guys are broken, unfortunately, but they were always going to break. Right, let's hit them in the flank hard. Let's go, boys. Let's break them there. Good work, good work. Come on. That's got to send them. They're both breaking. Our men have regrouped. 
Go take them down if you can. You keep firing on them. So we have split away that general. And we're still firing on them quite heavily. This is good. Got some more archers incoming as well. We can take down the general. And that could be a victory for us. One of those units is broken. One of ours has fled. Anyone's game here. We might be able to hit him in a flank one more time, which could possibly break him, so let's do it. Let's hit him hard. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's looking good. 36. One good charge against them might finish him off. Alright, bows, get ready to run. Still got a few men left side. Still got some cavalry. It's not over yet. There we go, we've broken them. So if we get you guys to chase them down, there's still 70 left, so we want to kill as many of them as we can. There's 49 of them. So we've still got those three cavalry units. They've broken. You charge on them. Those archers might get engaged. So both of our horse archers are now out of ammo. So we just we've killed a lot of that general unit actually. And we're hitting from the side. We might not need to get into the melee with them. Yeah, we really might not. We're slaughtering them. That's it, boys. Keep killing. There's two of them left. Go and chase them down. So we haven't lost any units left yet. This is going pretty well. The general has broken. The men are running, cowards! And when general is dead. General has been killed. Excellent. Save your ammo. We can still burn some of this city. A lot of enemy forces have just broken. but not enough. So as much as a lot of them have broken, there's still a lot of them left at the same time. Charge on them. Let's make sure they don't escape. Let's hit everyone into that unit there. Whatever cavalry you have left, the more we can break, the better before they get into view of those archer towers. Maybe too late. Yep, they're in view of those towers. Don't think we're going to get there. Unless we can lure them away, which we might be able to do. We've just got to urge them to start coming towards us. That it, there it is, there it is. Okay. Perfect. Don't go in view of those towers, boys. Stay well away from them. Hold back, hold back. I hope the other unit of Lancers survived. I didn't see what number they were when they broke. Don't go too far away. That's it, that's it, that's it. I mean, they're about to break anyway. Maybe if the general uses his war cry, that might send them. Charge. Right, we've got some mercenary archers coming up here. Not mercenary, marine archers. And hopefully take them down nice and easy. Well, I think they're thinned out or loosened out. I think we've destroyed that unit without losing a single man. So let's kill them and get out there before we take a volley. Right, you with your ammo. If we can start setting a light to that row of buildings. I reckon we can burn that tower. That's it, keep killing, keep killing. Got some more melee cavalry down here that we can use. Yep, they're fine, get out of there. Doesn't matter, they've broken. I think they may have got one volley off, but we potentially... I see two dead horses, that's it. That's all we've lost. Unit has fired all of its ammunition. Yeah, there, boys. You two, loosen, and you two start advancing far on that same building. They're going to run out of ammo, so make sure you get there quick. Oh, we got 
nice and accurate. We can hopefully, if we can, set that building. We can get that tower gone too. So a lot of enemies are now running. If they go the right way. We should be able to break them too. There we go. I think that's smoke. We've got no smoke. Killing a lot of their horsemen too, which is good. Then out of our ammo. Okay. Come on. It's okay, it's smoking, that's good. Then we'll use the rest of our ammo to hopefully take down some of these guys. Cavalry if possible. Come on boys. We should have enough ammo for this. Hoping. Some spearmen incoming. There it goes. They had the right idea. Just let our archers stay here and do exactly what they're doing. They're shooting the right men. We've still got all of our horse archers, mostly at full health, except for one at 41, but they should be fine. We've just won it. They've broken. The whole enemy's just broken. Oh, brilliant. Let's end that there before we lose any more men. We used morale and we broke them, even though they still probably outnumbered us massively. 500 of ours dead. I thought we were going to have to attack and retreat at least three times to take that. Excellent stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. But well, unfortunately, I think that does mean we've killed their army. So as much as I wanted to subjugate them. And um, yeah, we can subjugate them, which is brilliant. <laughs> but unfortunately, we've just killed their army off. So they're not going to be much use. Which is kind of annoying. But still brilliant. So yeah, we've subjugated the Vandals. There we go. Excellent stuff there. Don't suppose we can... Im no, we can't encamp yet. Unfortunately. Uh, but we can start bringing our guys from the north For the gods. down to the south. So we'll probably move this guy first. Faster, and we can get there pretty quickly. For the I wonder if he can do the same. Good stuff. He can. Okay, so we should, hopefully, if I put him like that, we might be able to get him halfway and then encamp him as well. Hopefully, unless I've done that very wrong. I've done it very wrong. Okay, might as well go the full way then. Starting out. And then if we can, try and manipulate that agent, because he can still see where we've gone. It was a critical failure. Okay, well we tried. We tried. Um, but we are now much closer to our friendly forces there. But we're going to have a negative income for at least one turn, which isn't necessarily a problem. Let's levy some Germanic spearmen. Just in case, because obviously we do have a rather big enemy to the south here. Who owns a decent chunk of land. I'm not actually sure how much they own. It might just be those two settlements. Let's have a look in diplomacy, shall we? It's looking like just the two settlements. So we do massively out, um, outnumber them, outstrengthen them. Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Better spend it hunting. Cool. Okay. So yeah, we're going to move down them. Hopefully, take Tarentum and then uh, subjugate them again for the second time. Hopefully, they won't slip away this time. Uh, one thing we should look at is the Vandals and whether or not we have good relationship with them. Okay, we're neutral and we're almost friends with them. That's fantastic. So they shouldn't be running away from us anytime soon. I look soon. forward to your wisdom. But I trust Enemies you are mostly the same. Unfortunately, they're at war first. with the Western Empire. Which I can't make them change. That's annoying. Um, unfortunate. As well, hopefully they don't get taken out by the Western Empire. But they also don't have any armies. So the Vandals should be fine. As long as they can get an army up, they should be fine. Shouldn't be any armies nearby Rome. And if the Vandals take out Rome, that's just strengthening both of us either way. 
So that's fine. Okay, let's um, just quickly check through our feed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. End that turn there. See what happens. Quadians come up from the south. Probably going to have to encamp for a turn or two to just replenish forces. Alamans, can't remember where they are, pretty sure they're very far north. We've taken out one more enemy. Hopefully, yeah, we subjugate the Quadians here and we've got two factions in Italy, kind of centralised, that are on our side. So that's very, very good for us. Then we can uh, accumulate our forces here in safe territory and then start to move back up north and um, take out the enemies that we've left behind. But if we stay quite close to our our subjects, our tributaries, we should be a lot safer. Right, they didn't move. That's good. That's a good sign. Now, we know for a fact they've still got a lot of men. They've got quite a strong force, so we do need to be careful. You have recruited so many units, the Treasury is buckling under the weight of yep, their upkeep. that's fine, but we're going to change that very soon. So that's not spread the cost, Deceive. As well as putting your troops to good use. Faction destroyed. Africa has been destroyed. So they've deceived our guy up there, which is fine. We don't care about him. They've tried to... They're still following our army, which is incredibly Sit. annoying. My fire. But there's not much we can do about that. So if we move Sword him my people. down here, we encamp them. Ready if we encamp battle. too much, it might really start affecting the Vandals. So we don't want to stay for too long. Um, but we also don't want to do it to the Romans either. Yeah. If we can. Could encamp them there for now. But we won't keep them there for too long. Let's actually reduce the public order deficit a little bit. So that's not too bad. This army is probably one of our strongest, if not the strongest. Good amount of um, melee infantry there. Or spearmen infantry. We've got shamans of the eternal sky. Which, I'm not sure if we've used them yet. Or no, we definitely have because they're unit rank 2. So from what I remember they're pretty good. But I think we wanted a different unit. Warriors all. Okay, they did survive. That's really good. Our mercenary lancers survived. So let's go ahead and encamp there. We shouldn't be getting any trespassing um, disadvantages because they are our tributary state, so I shouldn't worry about that too much. Now let's have a look at what we can do. You see, I thought this was our... Poison arrows. Is that our first horde? For All sorts of Amazonia was the bomb we created. For the tribe. I know we lost one, but who's got the highest level start? Of Nobody. How can I help? No one. Okay, that's Thirsty fine. For battle. So we built a yurt builder. We've got two farms. But where is our shaman's hut? I thought we had one. Thirsty for battle. Noble Akat Ziri Raiders, that's what we wanted. So where are we getting the Shamans of the Eternal Sky? We're getting them from here. Right. Now I remember. Now I'm, yep, I'm back. I'm, I remember. I remember. So we don't have much money, which is fine. Um, I don't know if we've built any of those yet, though. Doesn't seem like we have. Noble, yeah, they look way better. They look like Lancers, but with loads more armour. I want. We want some of them. That's what we want. 900, though. If we can get two of them, and we can give them to the Scourge of the Steps, but we've got some replenishment to Come, do anyway. Sit. Share my fire. I do want to get rid of all of our mercenaries Ready, too. Which seems that the only mercenaries we really have at the moment are our Lancers. Which I'm happy with, to be honest. I like my Lancers, they hit bloody hard, they usually destroy an enemy within one hit, so... Cappy keeping them like that. Right, let's quickly check Vandal, we'll see how we're doing with them. If we're green yet, it does seem we're improving, so we're nearly there already. And they're culturally intolerant, which is interesting. But they're our tributary state. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words. And they call us our friend, their friend. Excellent. Right, let's um yeah, let's go ahead and skip through this. We'll probably just want to skip through the next turns at least just to get that replenishment and get a bit of money together. 
also get a few units and then we'll start heading down towards the uh, the Quadians. So we'll skip through this and see what happens. I don't think anything is going to happen. We've got all of our forces together now, so if they do launch a counter-strike, we should be fine. But we only need to re we only really need to replenish our forces before making a move on Tarentum. Yeah, well, here we go. Ah, bloody dignitary. They are so bloody annoying. And he was successful in whatever he just did. Don't you tell me they killed him. No, they didn't. Optar. So we did have somebody that we used before. I'm guessing it might be him. Which is fine. Um, we've got some good guys here, actually. Either or. We'll go with Bleda. Ruined provisions. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So how badly were the consorts affected by that? Because they poisoned our provisions. Not too badly. Ready for battle. We really... Okay, that's our guy. He's back. Let's see if we can take down this guy. Priest, although she is very good. How can I help? He's even better. Jesus, how are they so what high level? Need to get him leveled up. People really do. Come, sit, okay, so we could build a new building. We could go for more food. Food-wise, I don't think we're struggling, are we? Nope, not struggling on food, so we don't need to do that. Um, we've got a barracks, so we've got warriors yurts. We've got a storyteller's yurt. Artisan's yurt, rather. So we don't need um, any of those. Elder's yurt. Or is it an elder's yurt? That might be what it is, sorry. Yeah, it is an elder's. So what we want, then, potentially, is an artisan's yurt. For more money. Also unlocks onagers, which would be very useful for us. So I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with the artisan's yet there. Let's get that starting to build. Should only take one turn, which is good. A um, little bit of replenishment there for one unit. Scourge of the steps probably doesn't have a whole lot left to do. Not really. Not really. Um, yep. Yeah, so we'll probably just wait one more turn. Ready for action. Get our scout into a good position, yes. although he actually already what? is. You can begin corrupting the town Impossible. next turn. There are also no armies. I've just only noticed that. So, it is a walled city and we don't have an Onager. But, we could get down there and start to attack it now. Could be worth it. I say we do it. I say we get our asses down there and we take Tarentum. There shouldn't be too much of the garrison. We should be able to take it. Oh god, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We don't even need to. We unfortunately have to wait a turn, which could give them a chance to counterattack. Ready for battle. Uh, so we've got a unit of twenty here. Who's building that? can move them sort of we can block off the gap I guess we can come down here I mean I'd be surprised if the army goes all the way up the top to attack the consorts but if not they can just run plus we've got the um, allies we've just ah oh. I went too far damn it okay that's fine that's absolutely fine um, we've got other candidates we've also got subjects so let's have a look at this 
Your loyal servants have brought to your attention that your rivals have been meeting in the shadows. Uh, we want to... We want to meet them. I think that generally goes well for us when we just face them. Let's get you back into reinforcement range then if we can't go any further. So let's make sure they're together. And then hopefully if anyone does come to counterattack, we should be fine. Um, but that is fine. We're also away from those guys. I, oh, I do need to build siege equipment, otherwise I can't salt it. Labour force cost, so we just want to make the cheapest, quickest one we can. One turn, so we can take it next turn. Nearly made a big mistake there, so thank God. I was quite lucky. I think the Vandals have just done something. I can't quite see what that is up the top. Possibly the Vandal army returning, because I think they had another army up north somewhere. Uh, at least I saw on the map anyway. I'm not sure if it was. doing here. For the long term they don't seem to be doing a whole lot. There's a navy. Or right, there's an army embarked as a navy. Going up north, potentially going for an ambush. We're all there good. is barely enough money in your treasury to cover costs. You can ensure we gain 10 your control. Excellent. are taxed effectively by ensuring their settlements are upgraded to the highest available levels. Our control's just gone up 10%. We horde growth minus 2 all forces. That sucks. So horde growth will go down gradually. And as we move into dominant and absolute that will also go down but control is different current control 57% so that just gives a massive boost there 57% we now own over half excellent um, right let's, uh, let's smash this settlement down we're just going to quickly auto resolve it going to go balanced hopefully we don't lose anyone we really shouldn't we lost 48 men killed them there um I never understand why it gives us these two options because I'm going to take the two and a half thousand and then I'm going to raise it because I want to subjugate these guys. But now we just move towards Regium, which is hopefully their final settlement. Hopefully. Though I am seeing some other green, so let's just make sure I haven't missed anything. That's the bastards. Yep, I don't think they own anything else. I think if they did, it would have been here, which has since been destroyed. So unless they own any of these kind of coastal settlements, which I don't believe they do, that was not coming up, could be ruined. Ptolemy, yep, I don't think they do, so we've taken that down, we can, we'll send our spy first, it won't make any mistakes, make sure it's safe, it is safe, so we can go and attack Regium with this horde, it's unwalled and we've got the numbers. So we can go ahead and take these guys down, and that should be the end. The Quadians. So, they definitely did have a large army and large forces, but clearly not in the area. So they had one army there, one army there, and then a huge army up there, the Boar Tusks. Other than that, yeah. Lovely. So we just subjugated a second faction, one episode. Oh, you guys are lucky. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. So we've got 4,000. We want to try and get these guys encamped. We can. Even better. So we can finish off those metal works, and then we can get him encamped next turn. Finish off the replenishment, get those upgrades in, and get some new units together. Um, let's check our diplomacy. So I'm not sure. We're incredibly bad with the Quadians, but it is improving. So if we can keep that going long enough, we keep them kind of below us as a balance of power as much as possible then we should ultimately be okay and it does look like they're not too unfriendly with the vandals although it is deteriorating a decent chunk 
Seems to be that treaties with the Huns is affecting that. But as they grow to like us a bit more, it should be better off. Um, so it's just time. So we just need to keep them under our thumb for as long as possible. Keep building up that friendship. As long as we keep them weak and they don't grow too much, it should be fine. Um, but as we've now kind of cornered them here at the bottom of Italy, there shouldn't be anywhere that they can go to grow. Because I think we initially caught them here, wasn't it? And then they started to capture literally everything going all the way around. So that was why they turned their back on us the first time. So we're just going to keep an eye on that this time. But um, Hannock Horseman... I think we should go for that. 10 plus charge bonus for cavalry. Let's go for the um, horse tactics there. Should be a good effect. Let's just check this. So that may have also... Yes, it has. Okay, so we've lost a few of their annoying little guys. Annoying little spies and mercenaries that have been attacking us. So that's really good. Mediolanum is undefended. Now, the Alamans do own a lot of land, so maybe they might be our next target, they might not, but they're quite big. So what we might do instead is come back around and um, pay these guys a visit once more, the Bastanians. We hit them and then we start to kind of take out these smaller factions up here, making more tributary states as we can. That's why the Antians have come back as well. So it's looking good. So we've got two tributaries together at the same time now. So we can a lot more powerful. We can hopefully get another horde up soon. I can't remember who was closer. That's not showing. Um, it is showing. I was just looking at the wrong place, isn't it? They're closer. So they're at four. We need eight for a new horde. So we'll just keep these guys growing. We won't build any new buildings. We'll just keep letting that grow up and um, get a new horde on the way. There's apparently a new agent there, but I'm not sure if that is... Um, they've negotiated peace, so our two allies have now negotiated peace with each other. Excellent stuff. So you don't have to worry about them killing each other. It's all going pretty well. I'm sure there'll be a big, big drop soon where everything just goes to hell. So let's end this turn and see what happens next. I'm sure there'll be like a, a four armies turn up at once and just absolutely annihilate us. But yeah, and maybe we'll go up north first. We'll probably hit the Alamans, maybe take out a settlement or two because they are big. And if we can deal a hit to them, that will make it easier later on. And we've got some Lungabards coming down from the north. I'm not sure where they're coming from. I'm not sure where their settlement is. So they're quite. It looks like they're quite far away from home. So we'll have a look at that. Could be a threat, or they could be migrating. But that should have a wheel above their head, so I don't think they are. I can't think where they're coming from, but if they are coming all the way from the north to find us, that is interesting. Unless they're going after the Vandals, in which case we need to get ready to protect them. Ready for battle. So let's have a look. Langobards. Surely not. They have come a long way. They have come a very long way. Let's have a look and see here. Yeah, all the way from up there. They are at war with the, the Vandals and the Huns, so we may need to protect our friends here. Hopefully they make the wise decision and run down. Um, they're not at war with the Quadians, but we've got our force here protecting the city of Neapolis. Should be, should be enough men there to protect it. Hopefully. We'll get some uh, some noble Akatsuri raiders, but let's just have a look first and see if we can build anything. Doesn't look like we can. Always forget you need growth to build buildings as well, not just to build new ones. So I always forget about that. So yeah, we'll go for some units. We'll go for some two Akatsuri raiders. It's going to take two turns to build them, so they're pretty hefty units. Of an upkeep of 300 Come each. Sit. Jesus. Share my fire. And then, yeah, we want to get another horde up as quickly as possible. So we're probably going to bring him. Quadians don't really need our support. They've also got a 20-stack army there. So we'll bring these guys back up north. 
or just to the border here because I think as you encamp you take resources from the local region so it will be more efficient to be in three separates. So we'll just go up to the border here Warriors all. where it's nice and safe. Royal Yurt Builder. All these nice things that we could potentially build. We've got Hunnic Lancers. I think we're using Step Lancers. Yeah, so Hunnic Lancers might be even better. Even better. Um, that's definitely what I'd go for, I think. Hunnic Ambushes sounds good. Noble Horse Archers. Different kinds of Shield Archers. Ooh. Okay, so I think I want an Archery Range. We'll definitely want a Footman's Camp eventually, because we don't have much infantry. Um... But Lancers probably is definitely going to be the first thing I'm going for there. Hunnic Devil Cavalry. Okay. Okay. We're getting into some interesting stuff there. Very interesting stuff. That unlocks no new spearmen for us. Okay. Cool. Right. Anything happened down the side? We built the Artisan Gear. Excellent. Thirsty for battle! So we could massively um, produce our wealth up a little bit. Okay, that's good. That gives us extra ammunition for all recruits and obviously onagers, which is going to be very useful for us. But we could boost our economy by 600. Uh, we could increase our melee damage for all unit recruits, but I think it's pretty decent at the moment as it is. So yeah, we'll go for that carpenter yet. Yeah, that's going to use up the rest of our growth. Then we can start getting some onagers and uh, struggle a lot less with taking out the cities. So it's looking good. What do you want? Might be worth moving our spy up a little bit more and seeing how these guys are doing. Other than that guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a pretty damn good one. Um, but yeah, make sure you should, if you've got any suggestions, comments, tips or anything like that, make sure to leave them down in the comments below or go ahead and join Discord as well and leave them there. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, just supports the channel and keeps you up to date. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.